Hello guys, hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for competitive exams like FRM, CFA and SCR. And today with us, we have Shankar. He's been able to clear the SCR exam in his first attempt in April 2024 exam. And he's going to be talking about his journey of preparing for the exam. Okay. When did he started? What was the uh, approach that he followed? What was the strategy that he followed? And how he was able to clear the exam? So he's going to be talking about that. So Shankar, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us. And if you can give a brief to the audience about what are, what is your profile, okay? Before you started the preparation for the exam. Thank you very much for inviting uh, and giving me this opportunity. This is the first time I'm facing such uh, uh, interaction uh, on my profile. Uh, I have 15 years of experience in banking. I have credit and treasury experience. And uh, I am a FRM chartered holder. And uh, I know what GARP certificate means to the world. So I thought as soon as the exam, uh, I was planning to appear uh, maybe a year back. But uh, due to some reasons, I had to postpone it. And uh, I had enrolled uh, during uh, December. And uh, I was seeing a lot of videos in YouTube prior to preparing and to see views of people. And I got to know about uh, intelligence and uh, your uh, uh, association with the examination and how you have helped past people to excel in this exam. So I thought uh, this uh, in this journey, taking a partner is definitely necessary. I had uh, faced uh, the same thing when I did my FRM in level one and level two. I had enrolled uh, with the proper trip providers, professional trip providers, which in fact is uh, making a lot of difference in preparing for and appearing for such competitive examinations. Otherwise, it could be a little difficult. Maybe I'm not aware, like, where would I have I been? So, okay. uh, you started actually, I'm, yeah, right. Uh, I'm not a, a environmental background or a, anything related to climate, uh, nothing of that sort. Uh, but it is just out of uh, blue. Uh, there are a lot of you know, newspaper that we keep reading, net zeros and carbon decarbonization, carbon tax, a lot of bits and pieces of information that we keep learning on day to day right. basis, but we do not know what exactly that means and what hmm. that could mean to finance world or how we can add to my uh, knowledge when I when I do my in discharging my duties or as I grow up in ladder, how do I uh, learn to imbibe those things uh, in my uh, day to day operations or uh, in my professional life? Though that was the main motivation. And uh, I had an opportunity given my organization to uh, participate in an overseas uh, conference okay. wherein they were discussing about nature based solutions and adaptation measures uh, okay. to, for climate uh, risk mitigation, uh, climate risk management, in fact. And uh, we do a lot of things without knowing the words mitigation, adaptation, nature-based solutions. Uh, without knowingly, we uh, we do all these things. But uh, okay. I was then curious to learn and uh, understand. Then I got to know that there is an exam issued by uh, okay. GARP, which is having uh, in-depth uh, coverage from end to end at what all these means. And uh, that is how I got motivated to prepare. And I had a word with you before enrolling and you had uh, rightly guided me like credit is going to be motive uh, means next level of credit is going to be climate and this is climate going to be a part of my credit risk profile and this is going to definitely help me in my career and professional life. That is how I started to enroll and appear. Okay, wonderful. So you basically uh, paid to the GARP Institute also in the month of December and then you started with us. Correct? Yes, sir. Now, from that day onwards, how much time you were putting each day to prepare for the exam? Uh, initially, uh, I went through the book. I got a uh, book, uh, whatever uh, ebook that is given, a hard copy is available. Uh, so we could uh, buy from Mahakali bookstore and uh, read because always uh, we have been, our generation has been used to it, uh, paper and uh, so notebooks. You read the content. You read the content once. Correct. So I just went through the content to see what we know and what we do not know because the book appears to be small, hardly 200 pages or so, and yes. half of them are uh, tablets or uh, tables, uh, contents, examples, caselets, and then the contents appear to be small. Hmm. Okay. So just to understand like what the curriculum is, what is mentioned in which chapter, because we have the chapter weight 
weightage also available in the first right. place when we right. prepare for examination we know which chapter is having maximum weightage so the obviously the focus would be which chapters are easier and which has maximum weightage to prepare so that we have a broad idea like where we need to focus more where we need to focus less all these things we can uh, easily understand and tell so right. that is why i got the book i went through the book maybe uh, like uh, how we did a novel maybe in 10 15 days quickly flip through the pages without okay. going in detail like what is mentioned in every page then right. have a fair idea like how much time i need to spend on each chapter to understand and uh, focus uh, mm-hmm. after uh, having gone through a reading then uh, this is the, again the same strategy that i followed uh, for my earlier garp examinations i travel to office one hour in the morning and or evening i come back so during the travel time reading book or ebook won't be difficult it will be difficult option but listening to fm or listening to videos ganesh nagas video or any other video for that matter i use this as again the same strategy i used to uh, plug in those uh, videos uh, mm-hmm. listen to them when i move to office and after i come back to home uh, flip to the books to see what the chapter exactly says and how much i am able to grasp because this is lot of theory stuffs in the book and it needs to be memorized it's not like uh, we have uh, formulas and uh, able to solve these formulas and arrive at the answer there are three or four options available out of which definitely two are very close and elimination of those two will have lot of uh, preparation to go so the reason of reading it again and again and again is to put those uh, words deep into the heart so that we don't forget right. it and uh, we need to remember all these stuffs and apply it at the correct stage there are, i remember a lot of things which you had told like in summer water melts off and uh, it doesn't stay that is something like we would have uh, if we read through the book we would have definitely not retained in memory but uh, having listened to it it is it definitely i will never forget whatever question comes related to it i am very confident that i can answer the question like that there are a few technical or uh, tricky things which maybe i would not have remembered otherwise i uh, have seen the video and those things are deep in uh, imbibed in the heart and it's mm-hmm. always difficult to forget those things so that is how uh, your videos help me i uh, listen to you maybe every day half an hour or one hour uh, chapter by chapter every chapter i spend maybe uh, three or four days uh, to listen to and then another three or four days to go through the content uh, by end of jan i could uh, complete the entire book and okay. i did not have the courage to go and see what gar paper has so i had few of your sample papers so i tried to attempt them uh, and see mm-hmm. where i stand i was scoring a uh, less than 50 percentage on the chapter wise test and uh, your examinations then uh, okay. i had to go back to books to gain more knowledge as mm-hmm. i retain more things in memory then by end of february or early march just before one month before examination i gave the gar uh, sample paper it was very yeah. tough and uh, i was <laughs> totally off guard i i never expected questions uh, because something with we prepare and uh, we appear in the examination what questions are there it's right. truly unmatched so i found like i am not in the right track i need to focus more and uh, spend more time then i increased yeah. my hours of study and uh, uh, the amount of time i put on the preparation every day uh, being banker march is difficult month to Uh, right. take more time at home uh, we had to we end up spending more time in office then uh, in april april came and we never know within another two three weeks we are through the examination and i am not convinced with the way i have prepared now i had to spend okay. more hours maybe two to three hours every day and uh, maybe longer hours in the weekend uh, okay. sacrificing family and uh, personal time but uh, we i got to uh, so, watch all csk matches <laughs> person cricket fan Okay. Uh, that is the only thing that i had uh, uh, taken time off otherwise it was all books and even my family okay. was complaining like you are studying like a 12th standard kid or uh, <laughs> like that kid at that point of time would have been somewhere else at that point of time but we never know uh, 15 years is long wait uh, after that we have right. completed the formal college or school life and uh, we are competing with the world where the examination is on relative marking basis and uh, the people competing we do not know where how much they are uh, preparing and where what this level of competence is and uh, and not having a environmental background also is means not a flip side but 
it it is mm-hmm. not a uh, all all the terminologies that we see are new so we need to understand and put it in the right context so that is the and, and shankar when how many uh, readings of the garp material did you do before going for the exam not less than 10 times sir at least 10 times okay so you were just reading continuously reading reading no uh, it's like uh, no it's like uh, i read a chapter and uh, i see the learning outcomes what are they and if i read the learning outcomes and uh, if i'm able to relate what the contents are there inside okay. then i'm uh, i think i'm through with the chapter this i repeat after every maybe uh, completing every every all in entire book again mm-hmm. it start the chapter one because this is a long uh, journey and by the time you complete chapter 6 or 7 you for if you tend to forget what is there in chapter 1 or 2 yes two. yes and uh, i after completing all eight chapters we tend to link this was there in chapter 3 chapter 4 some contents right. are there some things are matching so we are able to connect the dots and understand and maybe make a mind map to understand mm. uh, what contents are there in which place so that helps in uh, preparing and uh, this learning outcomes i had to means we need to remember there's no other option other than uh, not seeing the that has to go to memory and you should be able to recall during examination that is a must that we should do so that's with respect to question bank so like we for each chapter we had four quizzes so how did you solve them did you solve so you read one chapter you solved all the four quiz no 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 uh, i uh, after completing two or three readings uh, i started with quizzes means i completed entire uh, content syllabus for the first time then uh, chapter wise i started uh, at the end of every chapter i used to take one or two quizzes i see where mm-hmm. i stand then uh, i complete like this for all the eight chapters then again start with uh, chapter 1 do the third and fourth quiz to see again where i stand then i complete the same journey by end of jan maybe all the quizzes and all chapters i could do at least twice but still okay. the uh, level of scoring is not tough because if we solve the quiz in the morning and solve the same quiz in the evening we tend ah. to score better because yes. we know what the answers are where we went wrong but after uh, maybe a two weeks or so we will not be able to remember we will tend to make the same mistake again and again and yes. you have that uh, uh, option to compare with your previous att- attempts that helps uh, mm-hmm. where did where did i go wrong earlier uh, where did i go wrong now whether it the same mistakes i am making or uh, it is something new that i am making so that helps okay. uh, that is how i prepared like uh, after i have solved all the quizzes in first place then mm-hmm. i solved your question bank question uh, mock paper mock one or two one or two and then i saw all the gar papers earlier one and current year those two papers then i found that the preparation was not good then again we had to start so what was the average the what was the score score you were getting in those mock papers t percentage around sir so out of 80 you were getting 45 correct 40 or 45 around correct and when did you give this exam which which uh, month you gave this exam march march itself okay okay and then what what one, one month before i had ha huh. i had enrolled for the examination on 22nd of april because i did an early registration i didn't have the pulse to carry till the last day preparing for examination to see a feedback and other things so i wanted to complete it first stage and get rid of it that's why i early uh, enrolled early and booked my early slot and completed the paper and uh, that's why i planned one month before uh, examination date i wanted to do a mock and see where i stand Uh, i think incidentally there was a holy holiday or something a long weekend uh, during month of mm-hmm. march which helped us to uh, recoup and um, spend some time with uh, question bank and okay. see where where is stand so that is why i because we we need to assess ourselves where is our strengths where is the weakness where is a uh, uh, thing that we are lacking and okay. then again working on it it will it will definitely help that's what i did uh, in the month of march i did uh, got both papers i did then uh, roughly 50 55 percent i was able to score then i thought like mm. we should be uh, focusing more on the contents then again april second week uh, i did another time that time maybe i improved my score to 65 70 percent then okay. i had downloaded few more question banks from uh, various free websites available and uh, mm. that also you helped that me to, uh, those maybe three or four because that, is, that gives a different perspective the case studies were not available uh, in in many of the places 
and case study right. carries four marks and it gives a lot of uh, insights to our uh, understanding level of the uh, hmm. questions or subject so right. i had to surf through a lot of papers to get the questions which are pertaining to which are which are uh, uh, case study based then right. because it, it is an opportunity to score more marks either, either it's you, you score two or three questions uh, with one case because the contents are red ones then you are able to see the answers and see uh, score two three marks you can easily score from that so right. that i found that this is a scoring area that we should not miss out so to concentrate on that uh, i did and then garp had provided few more readings uh, late in the month of Additional, march or so required reading yes yes correct so there there were a few uh, numerical stuffs that could be tested that's what i understood from the content so i was searching for uh, numericals that could uh, relate to those questions the weighted uh, weighted average carbon intensity calculations or uh, carbon Got tax calc or something related to that and numericals as obviously uh, we can solve and score can we can be sure of the answers so i didn't want to lose out on those uh, areas so i did those readings as well Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So when you went to the exam, okay, and you started solving. So, how was the first half an hour when you started solving? This is the first time I'm again uh, doing a computer-based test, and uh, this is a new experience altogether. All the time we have been used with books, papers, and uh, questions yes. on uh, MCQs. Uh, we can uh, scribble through and find out. The way we approach the uh, online MCQ itself is uh, a new system. Uh, I had a very big screen in front of me. I was sitting very close to it, and AC at a very chill temperature, and uh, it was. Uh, I was sweating actually, but it was very cold, and uh, my okay. I could feel my hands frozen, my heart beating fast. I could not concentrate for maybe first ten fifteen minutes. I was trying to recollect okay. like what the where I am coming and sitting because okay. uh, we had given a uh, big headphones. People were all uh, glued to the screens. And the when I entered, the instructions given to me were like blah 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 blah. You should not do this. You should not do that. Raise the hands. Put everything outside, inside. Lot of instructions are given. And uh, I want to take a sip of water. That was not available inside. They told if you want to take a water, you have to come out, take water, go in, and again checking will continue. So all these things were there in memory when we went inside. And uh, maybe for ten fifteen minutes, I was could solve only two or three questions because. Right. The reading the question itself was like moving, watching from one end to other end. Uh, big flat screen, sitting right. close. Then I made myself comfortable by dragging my chair a little bit backside. Then uh, adjusting the keyboards and mouse and uh, dragging it a little closer to me. And then uh, uh, read through the questions. Close my eyes. Maybe you say a prayer, a small prayer, and then started again. Maybe the fifteenth minute onwards, I started solving. And uh, then yeah. I means initially few questions were. Appearing to be tricky or tough, and then few familiar questions came. Maybe in one last time, I could complete twenty-five or thirty. Then I, you know, I knew like I'm on track. I'm not behind the time schedule and and all. Uh, by okay. two and a half hours, easily we could complete. Time was not a constraint in examination. Definitely, it was not a constraint. And the case study was difficult. Uh, was a tricky one. It's not like it's some single chapter focusing Next on single content. Two two concepts so, they mix basically. It is. They're all. From different chapters, they are accompanying transition risk with operational risk, with credit mm -hmm. risk. Something from chapter three, something from chapter seven. Right. A lot of uh, questions are uh, mixed, so we will never know. See, if we start knowing and checking which chapter this question pertains mm -hmm. to, we'll start losing time. And certain times when questions are big, the strategy was to go from answers, see what the answers are uh, worded, mm -hmm. and guess what the question could be, and then right. uh, read the question and to and to narrow down the answers. And then uh, finally give an answer. Okay. And uh, uh, how many questions did you flag for review? Not much, sir. I did not want to go on because I had a bad habit of changing the correct answer. And this is my experience. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, so what is our first instinct? Whatever we wanted to uh, give it, give it because there's no negative marking, and there's right. no priority. Whenever we had answered, we had uh, some intuition which made the answer. There's no point in flagging it, coming back to right. that again and giving maybe one or two questions I had left and flagged it to answer later, but I never answered in the first place. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, how, when you came out of the exam, okay, ba basically, what was your confidence level that how whether you will be able to clear the exam or not? Yes, uh, I was little confident. I found like uh, I knew how Garp. Uh, 
papers would like because i was never confident when i did my frm2 but uh, i luckily uh, went to went through it so okay. that that uh, experience um, helped me do better uh, i was little confident of uh, doing or uh, successfully clearing it but not sure like what could be my correct uh, scorings in different chapters those things i'm not confident but uh, the uh, best intuition was like this time i should be through okay okay now if i ask you if you can give three tips on your uh, understanding of clearing the exam any student who is preparing now what are, what is that three tips that he should follow uh, sir for uh, college students or uh, just who have started the career for them this is a excellent examination if they are looking at a career in banking or risk management or uh, something in this aspect because even rbi has come with the uh, lesion guidelines many banks have uh, uh, floated rfps for uh, climate risk management assessment in their uh, uh, organization and even in lot of recruitment uh, in uh, requirements they put like requirement as scr as one of the qualification that they expect so this examination is definitely gaining uh, right. importance in the indian landscape and uh, uh, college students or uh, because there is no professional experience required to get the starter this mm-hmm. could be part of their day to day studies and they could easily clear the examination without any hiccups for business for people who have completed 10 to 12 years who want to accelerate or shift the career this is one of the examinations which give lots of importance and insights definitely they can uh, look to uh, appear and uh, pass this examination and uh, it is not tough uh, definitely it is not tough but it is not easy also it we cannot take it lightly it's not last minute preparation definitely we need to spend lot of time uh, in understanding and retaining it in memory so focus and uh, keywords we should retain flash cards uh, we do we need to prepare to understand what the content is all about so definitely start early mm-hmm. prepare have a schedule prepare uh, throughout the means if you have a break of 15 days then it's mm-hmm. like starting all over again so okay. there can never be a break yeah there can never be a break while you prepare for the examination you have to always have that book uh, before you go to sleep definitely you should attach the book twice a day morning ones evening ones or whatever time uh, be it ebook or uh, question paper or something you should definitely mm-hmm. have the touch of the subject and uh, it's not we should not spend too much time on one chapter or too little time on some chapter so we should have equal concentration was easy chapters definitely is a scoring area every question matters every answer matters so there's no uh, thing that we can leave the plate unturned uh, every chapter every table every case study has something to say and definitely it has some relevance with the examination right so uh, entire content has to be studied well prepared uh, start early uh, prepare uh, thoroughly and then uh, be confident while you take examination solve as many mocks as possible because that that really definitely helps and uh, that is how we can be successful in this examination okay wonderful wonderful shankar thank you very much for taking our time and talking to us because this your experience because you are a working professional with uh, 10 10 plus year of experience and you coming and talking that you have been able to clear the exam with proper dedication proper plan so definitely other professionals can also clear the exam if they if they sit down properly and give time and similarly this will motivate to other students also who are now thinking of scr exam in the future so they can also get motivated they can go for the exam and your journey will help them to plan their preparation so thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us this was really 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 helpful thank you thank you thank you for the opportunity sir all the best